Hello everybody, it's Blocky Duck, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use World Edit in Minecraft 1.17.1. So alright everybody, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and learn all of the different commands that World Edit has. And once you learn these commands, you can use them in your own Minecraft city building, and you can build cities like this in your own Minecraft worlds. So whenever you load up World Edit in Minecraft 1.17.1, the first thing that you want to learn how to do is give yourself an, a wand. Now a wand is basically the same thing as a wooden axe, but with the World Edit mod, it has special powers that can allow you to place thousands of blocks at a time, which can really speed up the building process. So, in order to get yourself a wand in World Edit, you need to do slash slash and type in wand. Now, with all World Edit commands, you're going to want to enter in the um, symbol slash slash at the beginning of whatever command you want to type in. And that's just the way World Edit works. Now, if you only do one slash, that's going to bring you to normal Minecraft commands that are not related to World Edit. But if you put that second slash in, you're going to get commands that are directly related to World Edit. So, if you type in slash slash wand and hit enter, then you will have a wooden axe enter your inventory. And this wooden axe isn't just any wooden axe. This is your own World Edit wand. Now, the next command that you want to do is once you have your World Edit wand, you want to learn how to set a position. Now, a position is a block that you can tap with your World Edit axe, right, like that, and you can actually click on a certain block and it will set it as a position. Now, as you can see in the chat, it says per first position set to negative 90264, negative 416. Now, that is the coordinate that of the block that we just selected. We can go over here and select a different block, and it will say second position set to negative 907, 64, negative 419. And then after that, it will say the number 24. And the number 24 is the total number of blocks that are currently selected. Now, that's all you have to do to set positions. And if you don't want to use a world edit wand, you could also use the command position 1 and position 2. And once again, you do want to enter in the slash slash for any world edit command that you're using. So, now that we know how to get ourselves a wand, and now that we know how to set a position, let's go ahead and create an actual area in World Edit. So, I'm just going to grab a random block here. I like to use yellow concrete just as a demo block. So, we're going to set our first position at this random block right here. And then we're going to go over here and set our second position at this random block right here. And as you can see, we have a total of 56 blocks selected. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use the set command. So, in order to use the set command, what you want to do is you want to type in slash slash set and then hit space and you can type in whatever block you want. So, we're going to type in yellow concrete. Now, as you can see, once you start to type in yellow concrete, all the blocks with the yellow word in it will go ahead and pop up and we can just select yellow concrete right there and hit enter and boom our entire area is a yellow concrete block and we have this amazing area right here full of yellow concrete the next command that we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make walls and this is really useful if you want to make buildings so we're going to set our positions again and we're going to do slash slash walls space and we'll just choose a random block we'll pick yellow concrete again and if you hit enter, you can see that there is a walled area around here. So these middle blocks are not filled in. Only the blocks in the edge are filled in, creating a walled off area. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use the replace command. In order to use the replace command, you want to select your position. So we'll select this entire box of yellow concrete that we have right here. And we will type in the command replace hit enter, and then we'll type in the yellow concrete. Now, the reason we're typing in the yellow concrete is because whenever you use the replace command, you have to pick a specific block that you want to replace in a certain area. So you can use replace yellow concrete, and then we can choose a different block. So let's go ahead and choose red concrete, and hit enter. And as you can see, the area magically turned from yellow concrete into red concrete. Now, this can be a very useful technique to use, but what if you make a mistake? I mean, with the world edit, you can place thousands of blocks, and if you make a mistake, it could devastate your world. 
Well, luckily, the mod developers that created World Edit thought of this, and that's why there is the undo command. If you ever want to undo an action, all you have to do is type in slash slash undo and hit enter, and your action will be undoed. If you want to do the same thing again, you can hit undo, and you can hit undo. And as you can see, all of the things that we've done with World Edit are deleted. Now, these blocks didn't get removed because they were manually placed by me, and they were not placed by the World Edit mod. But that is a very useful way to undo any blocks that you have. So with that underway, the next command that we're going to learn how to use is the copy and paste command and then the rotate command. These three are commands are very important and they can really help you improve your builds. And we're going to be using this as a real life example in my Minecraft city to spice things up a little bit. So in the city, we have a random car right here. And this is just one of the cars that you can find in my Minecraft city. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this area of the car. So we'll put one yellow concrete block right here to select the first area. And then we will go over here and we will place a block right here in the second area and remove these blocks. And now we have a selection made. So we can stand on this block right here and we can enter in the command copy. Now, before I go any further, I want to point out that whenever you use the copy command, where you stand is very important. You want to make sure that you're standing in a recognizable place because I will show you what happens if you don't stand in a recognizable place. So we made our copy command right here. So we're going to go down this road a little bit and we're going to paste this car along the road. So we'll go ahead and find a nice open area where there aren't really any other cars. And I didn't really develop this section yet, so let's go ahead and paste our car right here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're standing on a recognizable block. And we were standing on the dotted line block before, so we'll stand on the dotted line block again. And we will enter in the command paste. And as you can see, our car is pasted in this new area. So this is a very, very useful command, and it can let you copy and paste hundreds, thousands of blocks, and it is just a very useful command. But let's see what happens if we hit paste up here. As you can see, the car spawns in midair, and that is not very good. So you want to make sure that you are copying and pasting in a recognizable position, or else your build will end up in the air like this. Now, let's say that your build is up in the air, or something went wrong with it, but you don't really want to have to recopy and paste it. You can just use the move command to move it. So what we're going to do is we are going to select this area of the car with a random block. And you don't have to use yellow concrete if you don't want to, but I'm just using it because it's a bright color that's easy to see. So, we're going to enter in the command move. And with the move command, you can actually move the car in a certain direction. So, what you want to do is, then you want to enter in a number. And whatever number you enter, that's how many blocks the car is going to move. Now, we're going to enter in a pretty noticeable number. We'll put it at 10 blocks so that you can really see how far the uh, car can move. And then, what you want to do is, you want to enter in a direction. Now, the directions are forward, backwards, left, right, up, and down. So, let's go ahead and move it 10 down, because we don't really want it to be up in the air. You can type in the command move 10 down, hit enter, and boom, our car is moved 10 blocks down. And it's not touching the ground, but it's a lot closer to the ground. And you can use the same command with other things. So, if you want to move the car 10 right, you can just put R and it will stand for right, or you can type in the whole word right, it's completely up to you, and the car will move 10 blocks to the right. So you can see how well the move command works. And we'll just get rid of that car completely because it's up in the air. Alright, now it's time for the rotate command. The rotate command is very useful, and let me show you why. So we have our car right here, we'll go ahead and reselect it, just because we were tinkering around with the move command car for a little bit. And we'll set our positions. There we go. And now we'll just head back down here, remove this block, and we will hit copy. And we will fly up in the air and go over to one of these roads over here. Now, I want to place this blue SUV on one of these roads that are right over here. However, there is a small problem. 
these roads are not going in the same direction as these roads over here. I have to rotate the car in order to make it suitable to drive on these roads right here. So, whenever you rotate something, if you know how rotations work, there are some basic angles. There's a 90 degree angle, which rotates um, clockwise, and clockwise is headed in this direction, so you're going rotating to the right. And then if you rotate 180 degrees, you will keep going and you will be directly um, like at a straight angle with what you were when you started. If you rotate 270 degrees, you'll be rotating even farther. So you'll be three quarters of the way around from where you started. And if you rotate 360 degrees, you'll be right back at where you started. Now, there's no reason that anyone would ever need to rotate 360 degrees, because then you would just be in the same exact place you were before. So, World Edit has 90 degree, 180 degree, and 270 degree rotations, and we could use these rotations in order to paste our car on the road where we want it to go. So, we already copied and pasted our car back there, so if we want to make it go on this road, we're going to want to rotate it 270 degrees, because we're going to be making our car moving in this direction right here so that it's driving towards this stoplight and we want to make sure that the front of the car is facing the correct side of the road and i am from america so people in america drive on the right side of the road if you're from england or something where the car is driving this side of the road then you can alter your city to your liking but anyways we're going to go ahead and rotate the car 270 degrees so all we have to do is type in rotate and then type in the number 270. Now we're going to go in our same dotted line that we were on before, and we're going to hit paste, and boom, there's our car right there, and it is driving along the road exactly where we wanted it to go. Now what if you wanted to make the car go on the opposite side of the road? Well, from here you can rotate the car 180 degrees, because remember when you rotate 180 degrees, you're going to the opposite side, so if we're right here, we're actually going to be facing in this direction, and we can go ahead and... Hit pace again, and the car will pace on the road right there, like that. And as you can see, now we have a blue SUV going in each direction. Now, the only one we didn't do yet is rotating at 90 degrees, which would be going in this direction. So we can go ahead and do that right now. And then we'll go over here and we will paste it on the road. We'll use our same dotted line that we were on before, and we'll hit pace. And there we go, our car is rotated. So we've rotated our car in all three cardinal directions, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. Now, there is one more important command that I'd like to show you before we end this video. And that is the schematic, um, that's the schematic command. So the schematic command is, in my opinion, the coolest command that you can find. And let me show you why. So right here, we are just going to... Set a yellow concrete block. We're going to copy and paste it on the ground right here. And we're going, and once we do that, so anytime you use a schematic, you have to do the copy command first. So we already did the copy command. Now we're going to do the scheme save command. And then we can enter in whatever name we want. So we'll just go ahead and put Y, C for yellow concrete and YC saved, and then we can go ahead and actually save and quit our world. And we'll go ahead and open up a new Minecraft world. And it may take a little while for this new world to load because I last played it in 1.16.5, but we'll go ahead and let it load up and we will paste the schematic in this new world. All right, so here we are in this other Minecraft world, and all we're going to do is we're going to load up the command, or the schematic that we saved, so we're going to do slash slash, just like you do with every other world edit command, and we are going to do the scheme load yc. Now whenever you are saving the schematic to copy and paste it to a different world, what you want to do is put it for scheme save, and then whenever you're reloading the world, you want to put it at load. So since we are going to paste it, we're going to do load and then hit enter and it will say paste and we can paste it and I hope I'm standing in the same direction. But there we go. As you can see, 
our yellow concrete block is placed in this new world. And that is all because of schematics. And it is a thunderstorm all around me, as you can see. But that is pretty much the main commands. There are a few other commands, like the brush command and stuff like that. I'm not going to go over those in this video, though, because I don't really use those as much, and I don't really feel like they're as important as some of the other ones. Those are pretty much just the main commands that any beginner to World Edit can learn how to use. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.